Today we have a very interesting story about a wild camping experience here in Saudi Arabia. Then we set off on an epic sandy ride back to the highway and finally, after several days of solid riding and more than a thousand kilometers, we arrive in the city of Jeddah. But unfortunately, we need to head straight to the hospital. Oh, well, we had an interesting night here at this camp. Wild night. Didn't quite go as smoothly as we hoped it might. So we got everything pitched up. Great, we were just thinking about getting settled down. And then out of nowhere, this huge sandstorm hit us. Thankfully, it was only temporary. Like, it didn't last very long. But just literally a wall of sand arrived and the craziest strong wind and it almost blew our tent through the desert and all of our things and stuff. We grabbed everything because we were stood outside and yeah luckily it didn't blow away but it was all destroyed and we had to like rebuild everything and peg it all down and like, and then and worried that anything on the bike was going to blow away in the night so we had to secure everything so that was a bit mad. The winds were crazy. Yeah it was it literally came out of nowhere but then it was gone in like 30 seconds. Yeah. And it didn't come back, yeah. thankfully, so that's okay. So then uh, we laid in our tent and it was unbelievably hot. Yeah, ridiculously hot. So we were just dripping with sweat. And then we started to hear pat, 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 pat on the roof. <laughs> we were like, are you literally kidding me? Is it raining? How is it this hot in the desert? And then it just starts raining as well. So then we got out the tent again and we put the waterproof cover on the bike and we like put everything away and then we had to do all the doors in the tent so we couldn't have any air in it. Any wind come through. Oh. And then it didn't even rain, right? After those no. few drops and we did all of that pack clearing up, getting ready for the rain, it just stopped and never came back. We prepared for a sandstorm, we prepared for rain, none of it happened. No. It was just sweaty hot. Yeah. So then we got back in our tent and we just laid there literally dripping with sweat. It was disgusting. It's like trying to sleep in a sauna. Good job we're going to Jeddah today so we can wash everything. Yeah. But then at like almost midnight a car comes, right? Yeah, which at which point we were asleep. Yeah, so this car wakes us up, it drives past a little bit, turns around and comes back and then it's waiting and then we it's hear bright lights shining on the tent. And then we hear someone come out shouting and we're like, oh for fuck's sake. So we get up, we come out, it's the police or army or whatever and they're just like what are you doing <laughs> looking at a tent like what the hell are you doing <laughs> and we're like we're camping one night they didn't speak any english where are you going where are you from i think they were trying to say so we got to the bottom of all that and then we were like can we stay here like, yeah, yeah yeah it's fine no problem no problem and we're like why'd you stop why'd you get us out of bed and look at our tent like what the fuck are you doing and then it's and then they're like, yeah, no problem, sleep where you want. So then we go back to our sweat box. We try to get back to sleep. And how long later? Half an hour later? Yeah, about half an hour later. Lucy sees a torch approaching slowly, slowly, but surely coming brighter and brighter. <laughs> I can just see a flash, flash, flash. And then it's just get brighter and brighter and brighter until we hear footsteps and there's someone outside our door. We were like, what? What do you want? And his tyre had went flat, so he was asking for some help. Yeah, so we grabbed this pump, uh, half asleep still, and he was like, oh, it's just over there, and we started walking with him through the desert. Walking we were like walking. 10 minutes? Yeah, we were walking like 10, 15 minutes through the desert. It felt like it was so far away, and I didn't put a top on, and <laughs> yeah. So we got there, and there was this huge wheel and tyre on this Jeep, and I just had this like, tiny little battery powered pump so anyway we helped pump his tire up but it was too small to do much but it did put a little bit of air in it and then he drove us back and off we went and and then that. woke us up at 6 a.m with a bag of fish fresh bag fish, of fresh caught, fish that they've caught from the ocean and we're like okay it's a nice gesture but honestly we can't cook a fish and we never can't, gutted a fish properly. And we can't carry a fish on our bike because it's going to absolutely stink. So we were like, honestly, we appreciate it, but you should have the fish. We can't cook it and we can't keep it anywhere. Language barrier though, they didn't understand. 
so he just put it outside our tent. <laughs> oh wow, what a night. So it's like 6.30, we were having our coffee, and uh, today we're going to Jeddah, and I can't wait. Yay, <laughs> our first stop in Saudi. Yeah, the first thing to stop and see and do is, is, the, is our destination. <laughs> Jeddah. All right, so let's get packed up. Cool. All right, ready to go? Good. Time to try and get this beast out of the sand. Okay, when you get this loo and let's get out of here. All right, to Jeddah. Sand, sand. Come on, sand, we got you. Woohoo! <laughs> That's how you do, we want to do it, I think. A little bit faster, a little bit more surfy. Lucy, I think we've made it out of the desert. We've made it off the beach. And we didn't fall over once. And oh, we went through some thick sand. Did, yeah. I think we can do it. We just need to have a bit of practice and slowly get used to it. Right, we've got just under a two hour ride to Jeddah now. Uh, nice to be back on a smooth road. The desert's very foggy, hazy today. I hope there's not a big sandstorm over on the road we got to ride through. Back on the hot and windy highway, about 170 kilometers to Jeddah. Actually to Jeddah Hospital because we want to try and get the yellow fever vaccine. Sandstorm. Right where the sign is, the sandstorm starts. We've made it to Jeddah. Hold on, Lucy. Oh, not yet. <laughs> yeah, we made it to Jeddah. We're riding around the outskirts to this hospital, the other side of Jeddah. And we've hit some traffic. The first traffic for a long time, it feels like. And it is uh, 46.5 degrees. It's hot. It's freaking hot. Fortunately, the roads here are nice and wide and it's easy to just filter down the edge here. So we can keep rolling. There is tons and tons of buildings that's collapsed. Ah, oh, they're knocking these ones down, look. Oh yeah, they're knocking them down. Both sides of the main road. Tons of collapsed buildings. We've come to what we think is the public hospital, but it's huge and it's called the Medical City. So I don't think it's going to be easy to find the vaccine we need, but it must be here somewhere, right? Assalamu alaikum. So, after the entry guards initially saying no entry, right, Lucy, you managed to get us in. Yeah, I was mapped while asleep on the bike. Yeah, I fell asleep. And the bacon sun. As soon as we stopped, I laid back and I fell asleep. Little did I know, Lucy was in the office getting shit done. She sorted us a yellow fever vaccine, by the sounds of it. So we're just yeah. following this guard to the building we have to go to. 
Fingers crossed it's free. Come on, free. ACC building. Our ambulatory care centre, ACC. That's what they said, isn't it? Play with them! In the shade, please. Sure, fine. <laughs> Okay. Okay. All right. Fingers crossed. Yellow fever vaccine. Come on. You're a big brave girl. Is <laughs> it hurt? That's an okay one, was it? Yellow fever vaccination done. We finally did it. After four hours. Yeah, four hours here, can you believe? But after being able to get it for free in Jordan, but never quite getting the timing right, and always coming at the start of the weekend and having to wait three days, not being able to, we had to do it here in Jeddah, which is fine, but it was like 100 and, 120 pounds each or something. That was bad. Yeah, so. Money we didn't want to spend, but money we have to spend, right? And we've also got malaria tablet prescription, which is going to be, I think, very important to have. Also pricey. Yeah, more money, money, money. Can't put a price on health. Right, where to now? Let's get some more things stamped. No, we are starving. Four hours here, no food, no water, basically. Okay, bye guys. We are ready! <laughs> Alright Lucy, we're vaccinated, we're jabbed up. Right, let's head into Jeddah and get settled somewhere, yeah? Let's get our car washed! <laughs> our bike washed! Oh yeah, let's wash the bike first. Just to the car. I don't get the roundabouts here, they just stop for you when you're coming in. Oh, a little bit more highway riding Lucy. Just a little bit. Yeah. I'll be happy to say goodbye to the bike for a couple of days. Yeah, it'll be a nice rest from the bike while we do all the bar bits in Jeddah, fly to Cairo, get our visas and all that stuff. And then we go on a ferry, so it's going to be like a week off the bike. Your destination is on the right. Well, we can't miss one of those, can we? <laughs> no. All right, time for a car wash. Hello. <laughs> With the bike nice and clean, we can finally head to our couch surfing destination here in Jeddah. Just waiting for us for dinner. Lovely. Look, that's the sun. It looks like the moon. It's so white, you can look right at it. Yeah. And it's like a perfect circle. Because of Just all the there. haze and the dust. You can literally stare directly at the sun. We're, we're staying, yeah, just around this corner. Yeah, on this street. In 500 meters, your destination will be on the right. I hope it's safe for our bike. Ah, it's that one. It's the tall one there. He sent a photo. Your destination is on Ahmed. the right. Anyway. I'll park here for a sec. Lucy? Okay. Yeah? Three days of riding. And we made Done. it together. Yay! Like 400 uh, yeah. kilometers or something. Good work. It wasn't the funnest the whole time we made it. Ahmed, salam alaikum. How are you? Good to meet you, brother. How are you? Yeah. How are you? <laughs> Very good, thanks. <laughs> thanks for having us to stay. Thank you so much. We can park in here, can we? Okay, great. <laughs> 